And we're looking at this, uh, the impact of this division and uh, how it's going to impact regional dynamics and African economies. Uh, Dr. Matsanga, uh, Mr. Elijah highlighted uh, the issues here and let's focus now on how is this going to impact regional uh, dynamics and African economies, considering he's equally highlighted the fragmentation of, of African nations. He just equally mentioned the fact that the statement by Mustafa Ki was not unanimously taken by uh, different African nations. Now, what's the impact of this division or this fragmentation? First of all, yeah, what uh, impact? With, uh, there is, my, my colleague is very right, 100%. Is exactly what my feelings are. We have no unity of purpose on the continent. This organization was created for unity of purpose, but we don't have it. We don't have it. The worst part of it is we said we elected this guy in 2017. This guy took off power in the African Union. From the time he took, he shifted everything, alliance. You cannot imagine. There are so many heinous crimes that have happened under Musa Faki, including the killing of the president of Chad. And the following morning, this guy was, after two months, one month passed, the man went on telling with the same rebel who killed Dr. Geno Idris Dabi in cold blood. He didn't condemn the actions of the killers, he instead invited the killers to a peace process where they declared we killed him and no action has been taken. So if you come to the impact, what, I, what is the impact? There is a great impact, of course, of the selling oil of prices, the cost of living, uh, which is already worsened by the situation of Ukraine, Russia war, that the impact will be great will be very 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 devastating but that is not the problem here the problem is where people are fragmented they have been fragmented to a point that they don't stand on one common ground to say what they want and the the, the feelings of their secretary general is religious he has taken a religious belief that hamas are good terrorists a man from Kenya, from Uganda, whose people are dying in Somalia with Al Shabaab, would not say so, because we have feelings, which which my brother here has has, has, has quoted very well. Supporting Hamas is like supporting Al Shabaab in Somalia or Boko Haram in Nigeria, which is killing people in the northern part of Madiguri and other areas states and the bonus states. That is it. That's, that, then let's now support Boko Haram. If you are supporting Hamas, let the, the whole Africa support al Shabaab. That's what the, the, Dr. Muhammad Fakim is, is telling us to do. And he's continuing pouring, pouring his statements that are going to kill us economically. The impact, the impact is the damage. You are asking for what is the impact? Is our name is damaged. Our organization is damaged. Because from now onwards, the Arab states will act in Africa, will act on their own. From now onwards, the religious, other Christian religious countries will act on their own. From now onwards, South Africa is not even seeing eye to eye with some of us because we have criticized them. Even the South Africa's decision, they did not say, they said the Palestine. Which Palestine is fighting? Hamas is fighting, not Palestine. The, the Palestine in Ramallah is silent. Ramallah is different from Gaza Strip. The Gaza Strip are terrorists who are fighting, who went and provoked the beehive. The beehive came for them, let them stand to fight. Let them stand to fight the Israelis. They cannot play on international emotions. 
telling us to, to wipe and cry with them when they actually went and slaughtered children in Israel and we forget that then we come to AU we say we don't know about that but they, they, we, they need the land there are some people who are bargaining for land peacefully through negotiation on table Dr. Abbas, uh, Muhammad Abbas is doing it on table He's meeting people, Israelis, to say, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, let's do that, let's not go here, let's find, give us room. Time is going to come, the answer, which is the contentious issue in Jerusalem. Everybody will go there and pray. After all, what are prayers? Prayers does not mean the beauty. Prayers mean God. God can listen to you in a mosque. In a Christian, you can go to the mosque and God will listen to you. Why, why, why are we fighting over a, a building? Historical building, yes. But both of us can pray in there. The Muslims can walk in and pray. The Christians can walk in and pray. pray because we are all human beings governed by God. But Hamas doesn't listen. Hamas is not interested in any negotiation as my friend has said. Let me, as I finish, look at the impact. The impact that is going to cause come on Africa is the sleeper cells of Hamas are going to act on countries that have supported Israel. Sleeper cells. They have friendly cells across the whole world. It's not only in Africa. Yesterday, listening to another television station, naming where Hamas have cells, have offices, it will come out that Hamas has got 300 offices in the United States of America. Funded, well funded there. They are grown there. And when you look at the people funding Hamas, it's not only Iran, Qatar. And here is Qatar, which is up, up front, coming to Africa, we want to get involved in the peace process of Congo. They pay money to Dr. Muhammad Faki. Muhammad Faki has a case where he has taken money because he says he's the president of Africa. None of the African presidents can be better than him. That's what he told the foreign minister of Qatar. I have it on tape. I have it on tape. And I, I am telling you, one of the things that made me, I, I, I had done something that made me and Elijah, we almost crossed. I, I, I now understand Elijah so well that he, at times he makes jo good jokes. <laughs> I should not take him very seriously, but I'm sorry for what I, some of the statements I wrote back because I, I had worked so hard, including gathering intelligence reports that Musafak collected over three million dollars from the Iraqis in order to fix them in the Congolese uh, peace talks. So the friendly minister was saying, why do you blame us every day, you, us, us, us? It is this, my people, you know Arabs don't hide. It is this guy who comes here to collect our money. So there is a lot of evidence that can take if heads of state of Africa don't listen to us. Censor this man. Call this man. A censor motion, a ledger, is inevitable. Is, is, is there. Under 41 article rules of procedure, incompetence, read the AU charter. If the man has become incompetent, by issuing a statement as a model, as a chairman of African Union Commission. The statement he issued is a statement of an ordinary Muslim cleric walking on the streets of Addis Ababa. Not an officer who minds about all religious affiliations that are in African Union. Therefore, the impact is very dangerous. Economically, it could put us in disarray Embargoes are going to fly around. Our, some of people will take literal attacks on countries like Kenya, Ghana, 
uh, Congo and other states in Africa that supported the vulnerable to very serious consequences of the sister and those who live in Hamas worldwide. Those are things that we must watch out that could happen to us.